Now when our PCB is almost finished, we will just give it a final touch. All right, so that's it. Maybe we are not very satisfied with it. So we can maybe move some components back and forth and you will see that they are actually rerouted automatically, which is quite a nice feature. But actually, not always this routing is done very efficiently or in the way that we need. For example, these lines here might be better. So what I can do, I can use so-called glossing, a glossing function. So I will select a piece of this uh, wire. I will click tab to select everything. And then I will click Ctrl Alt G and it will actually gloss it. So it will make it less complicated. If I make very, very nasty line deliberately, okay, like that, I will select it and I will click Ctrl Alt G and it should be simplified as much as it can. Um, the exit angle from here, as you've seen, it's not, um, it was not corrected. Okay. Now the next thing is this automatic loop removal doesn't seem to work as we want to, as at least I don't. Uh, clicking here and moving this line would help a little bit, maybe. We'll see. It does, but it takes some time. So it's rather better just to delete the whole thing and do it again. But clicking and tabbing will also will will always select all the lines connected together on the same layer. So what if I just want to select this piece of wire? So I will maybe delete a little bit of the wire here and then I will click tab and now only this one will be selected, not the rest. Maybe it's that that's easier. Okay, and then I maybe I can connect it in the way I want. Okay. Um, what else? Um, well, I might at the end select everything and gloss it. Um, so how can I do that? Well, I can go and shift all the, with the shift select all the parts, but that will take a little bit of time. How can I select all the tracks at the same time? Well, first thing I can go and use the filter. A filter will be able to select only tracks. I have to select tracks here. Yeah. Now only tracks would be selected and now I can select only tracks, but actually also these tracks here are selected. The uh, mechanical edge of my PCB. Well, I can go inside and select only tracks here, or I also have an option of s isolating this current layer, which is top layer from the rest by clicking shift S. Now, only this layer, the top layer is shown and the rest is grayed out. If I click Shift S again, everything will be grayed out. So no other layer, layers will be visible. And then you can select only the tracks which are on the top layer and click Ctrl Alt G. And all of them will be smoothed or how to say um, gloss will be applied to them. Okay, Shift S back, I'm on the track again. What else? Well, um, hmm. I found out that uh, the power supply connector is missing. Well, no problem. I can go back to the schematics and I can add another one. I will just drag and drop by shift. Now this one is um, selected. Also the ground here and the VCC also. Okay. Now I have to uh, annotate again. So I'll go tools, annotations and for annotate schematics quietly. Now the power supply connector is done. I'll go back here, import changes, design import changes and execute, close. The connector is here. So where should I place it? Okay, I will place it. Okay, where it is? Oh, I can I can click on it, see? Oh God, why not? Well, because I have the filtering function on. I will now set it everything on again and I can now place it and move it. Now, you see, I cannot place it everywhere I want. Well, because I have this thing called the houses, uh, the component courtyard, the component cannot be one over another. Oh God, what to do now? Well, I can use the R button. R will now change the mode or so that the component actually pushes the rest away so I can find space for it. 
pressing R again will ignore the rules so I can place it anywhere even though I make a problem. Pressing R again it will not be allowed to place everywhere instead when it is still someplace available. So I will place it like here maybe and route it control click and here maybe I will use the 0.5 millimeter option because I can still come to this pin. All right, what else? Well, the, um, all these designator which are on top overlay or top silk layer are sort of not arranged yet because they are overlapping. So what are the rules here? What can you do? Well, of course, you can go to top silk layer and select everything. How you select only text which is on top layer? Well, I can click Shift S and uh, select, but then I will actually select everything. Now the rest, since this text is on a part of components, I cannot select them that, like that. Well, I can click on one text, let's say that one, and with the right hand click, I can find similar objects. Finding similar object is a very powerful search tool in Altium, where you can actually select anything that has any common parameters. Like for example, you can select everything that has designator string type. So you can select here, same. All right. Now I selected everything that is called um, um, designator. Okay, going here, what I can do, I can set the common properties. Let's say text height, I will select it to set it to one millimeter and the width, I will set it to 0.2 millimeters. Now these letters are now small enough that they can be arranged almost anywhere. I will try to arrange them as nicely as possible close to each component. Now the thing is that um, they should be all oriented in the same way and they should not overlap and they should not go over pads. The easiest way is just to click Shift S again and you will see only the letters now so you will be able to move them around as you wish. If you go to Shift S again maybe it's not visible anymore where you shouldn't put it. And here it's just too much things to see and they might be uh, on your way. Well, you can go also to 3D and in 3D it's quite easy to place them. Even better you see where you can place them and where you can't. And Shift S works only also in 3D. So now I see only top layer, now I see only top layer and now I see everything. So top layer with the grayed out of the, re the rest of the components and shift S again, I see only top layer and nothing more. Of course, I also see 3D bodies of components. Back to two, second layer, uh, to, to, to the uh, 2D. Um, what else? Um, is there anything else to be done here? Um, I suppose not. The PCB looks neat now and it's almost ready for production.